And boom! There we go. The one thing we don't have is... Uh, I gotta go put on our background music. But I can do that while we're doing this, so we'll be fine. Do, do, do. Bear necessities, oh. the duple bear. But Are I'm you leaving. No, no, no. I, I like. I'm like no, I right talking, here. I was oh. talking to the dog. Ah, the dog ah, is deciding I, if he wants to leave or not. <laughs> damn dogs. But uh, that's funny. Yeah. So uh, well, sorry, I didn't even remember what, what was the trailer we went with. Now? <laughs> oh God, uh, we went with the uh, Earthworm Jim trailer. Oh, Earthworm Jim. There we go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no, no. Yeah. Um, I I didn't even know that that was. I don't know if it's like a big. TV series on the big network is coming out too. It might be something that's, I don't know. We'll. I, I haven't really heard too much about it. Um, so we'll see. I guess what platform it's even really going to show up on. Will it be just something on YouTube that you can just watch, or, well, um, yeah, I will have to look into that more because I just saw a random trailer of it and I uh, thought that was pretty cool that there's an actual animated TV show coming out. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, like I said, that's such a. I think it's so funny the kind of meta they did with that trailer. Uh, which was very much a, like, you know, recognizing of him as, like, this character, and he's playing Earth, right? Like, I mean, he is Earthworm Jim, but yeah. playing Earthworm Jim. And then there's the joke of, like, yeah, we're not going to talk about my time in rehab. Very short. 25 years. It was, <laughs> it was just some ridiculous stuff. So it was funny. Uh, it looks interesting. I don't know much about it either, but, I mean, this is exactly what the show is for. So let's see let's take a look at the earthworm gym uh animated series info but in the meantime while i look up stuff like that and do the auto we can talk about uh the other stuff which was the title one which was hit monkey and uh oh yeah and obviously we had a ton I, of stuff we we had so much stuff we can go with today so definitely yeah i um i know we you and i didn't actually really get to uh watch the show just yet but the trailer looked really cool and awesome yeah and enjoyable it looked like a fun little ride to watch so i'm, I'm definitely excited to check out the hit monkey show after this show or after this podcast <laughs> i might actually just end up going watching it now after this because i just caught up on some other shows uh the other thing i'm trying to catch up on now is just that cowboy bebop i know there's been a lot of i guess hate and then the, well, i guess maybe it's more of that again that split in between the middle of like there's people that really liked it and then there's people that really didn't like it um, I know critics-wise, they were not really having, I guess it was the pacing of how everything was, and each episode was kind of all over the place, I guess. Um, I still uh, got to check it out. I have no idea I, yet. I, but... I, the first two episodes, I actually really enjoyed it so far. I mean, um, the kind of the fighting scenes, the choreography in those was just really, I guess, well done. And it matches kind of the same, I th at least I think, to the same style of the show a little bit. Um yeah it was re it's really fun like um the second episode especially yeah once you get there there's a bathroom fight scene that i thought was really cool um i think john cho does a really good spike spiegel i think um i, <laughs> I you know i always wanted to picture him as harold from harold and kumar all the time but he's actually really got some acting chops now after i had uh, i think i told you that one movie i had seen um where he's it's all done like um Kind of like on one of those video camera kind of video movies where I don't know if you ever seen those where it's not yeah, really no. done on a full budget movie. Yeah, camera or anything. It's just I mean not, some of them are done it's... that way purposefully and some of them are done that way yeah, because they didn't have the money. Definitely, but this one had a uh, purpose. Yeah, like you said, was because uh, everything was he was trying to figure everything online to figure out where his daughter went and it was actually really good. He did really incredible. I thought um, that was like I think his first drama. Role. I mean, he's maybe done more but that's the first drama role i've ever seen him in and he did a wonderful job and that's kind of why i kind of had high expectations for him in this n uh, next role so because i you know i think he got some acting chops <laughs> um his partner i have never seen that actor before and same thing for Faye. i've never actually seen her either that i'm pretty sure they've been in some things but um i think they did a good job too so far i mean Faye already kind of shows up pretty early in the show um and his partner is really cool too i mean they, they all play good uh good parts as well he uh and then the chemistry between spike and them and his partner is like it's it's the same kind of chemistry that you get from the show he's kind of like good. always uh poking fun at him and everything when he's trying to tell him to take everything serious right um it's it's really cool i really like it um i haven't got to uh, see ein yet i think he's like the fourth episode that we get him in um and it's already kind of been um leaked basically i'm pretty sure everyone's already seen it i've already been spoiled of it i'm pretty sure everyone else has been spoiled of it that uh we get ed as well in the show 
I know there was a lot of questions of her if she was actually going to be showing up in the show. And uh, yeah, they are, they already kind of spoiled that. <laughs> yeah, I webs. I heard the the intro. like that dude. That's my <laughs> problem with things is like I've been trying to take it a bit slower because I've been busy working on stuff and I was like, all right, here. But dude, the spoilers on the internet are rough. Like you basically oh, just have I to. Think avoid. They should have at least uh, kept you know hush. At some least. of them. Some of that's them, the thing. Uh, some of the things, and it's just people too. Like things that weren't even like released in press junkets, right? People just post shit on Facebook once it's out, and that one is specifically from them. But like, it's like if you don't get it the day and have not like been avoiding news you're just gonna have some set some kind of spoilers like that's one of the things i'm kind of happy I, about the hit monkey that i haven't like really been too much paying attention because with very little exceptions i haven't don't have any spoilers right like there's nothing that i'm gonna go in and be like oh i knew that was coming in the hit monkey show I, i'm gonna go in and it's gonna be like the only thing i know is this is about hit monkey mm-hmm. that's not true my, right. my friend gave me one <laughs> or a couple others since then but otherwise right like i didn't go out and like look online on Facebook or like right. see articles and click on them. I so. think there's just so much stuff that came out this last week that like, oh, yeah, it's like, I don't I think hit monkeys getting the, I know it's, it's so far that people are liking it that have watched it. Um, but I don't think it's getting, you know, the, as much spotlight. Cause you know, so, so many other things are out, like, especially like cowboy or uh, bebop being one of the bigger one things. Um, oh yeah. Out there. Um, yeah. Like I said, I, I, I've recommended so far. Like I said, only two episodes in a little bit, but I can't really judge it so much just yet, I guess. But I mean, from what I've seen so far, I, I liked it. Action's good. CGI feels pretty good to me uh, when they do the space scenes. Um, the music ugh, is really great. I mean, it's great. It's awesome to just have the same composer from the original anime doing the same live action and giving it that same feel. Um, yeah, I, I like it so far. Uh, we'll see uh, about the next couple episodes, though. <laughs> Hell yeah. I mean, I'm like I said, I was excited for it. I And I even, like, my... <laughs> I'm using, I'm, like, poking because my pops is always looking through Netflix stuff to watch. He's a huge binge watcher. Like, <laughs> like that's just right. what he likes to do. He, when he gets home from work, he's just done. He sits and he watches TV and then goes to bed. That's... <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna not gonna say anything. No, he works hard. No, definitely but, not. But uh, so then he's out of stuff to watch all the time, all the time, all the time. He'll be like, "Yep, watch yeah. that on, watch that, watch that, watch that, watch that." And I'm like, "All right, if if I could just get him into anime, it would give him a whole new catalog of shit to binge through. You know what I mean? It'd take a while to get back through it. But I can't get him to get into anime. It's just like a line for him. He doesn't like. Yeah. It's I think it's something about the older generation, and you know, for them, yeah. animation is cartoons. Yeah, that's um, definitely yeah, they, what they see right away is that have, it can't be taken serious. <laughs> having said that, I did get him to watch, I think, what was it, Invincible? Oh, no, maybe he hasn't seen Invincible. I've got, I thought I got him to watch one of the hardcore ones. But Invincible, I think, would be a good one I think to that was, start yeah. somebody yeah, off on to I, get him into that kind of... Yeah, you know, darker and that. then move him down. But yeah, that was... So I think it might have been that one I showed him. And I was like, yeah, check this one. And I think he was more amenable to it because it was American animation. Yeah. I mean, just naturally, right? I don't think it's like a conscious bias or anything. Just like he grew up on American cartoons, and so he likes the look of American cartoons, right? So when he mm-hmm. sees that, I'm like, yeah, check this out. Um, and then there was another one I think I tried to uh, suggest. But, oh, man, I'm trying to get him, so I'm like, <clears throat> you should watch this. This is based on one of my favorite anime, and it's, like, a really cool, and it's got the live action. So, you know what I mean? It bridges it, and then I'm hoping, well, maybe he watches that, sees the live action any of the animes right i told him to do roni kenshin and like anytime he sees them i'm just like bam do that one so that in the hopes that he'll watch the live action version and be so interested he's like well now there's i've liked it and i want to go watch more but there's no more live action so i'll have to go watch the <laughs> i'm trying to pigeonhole him into anime somehow <laughs> Oh, well, definitely geez. show him the Cowboy Bebop show, you know? Well, I'm I mean, trying to get him uh, on The live yeah. action, at least. The li- I think he might like that one. Yeah, maybe. yeah. yeah. Now, be, and then be like, you know, hey, if you really like that show, you might, you may like the anime version. Right. Let's go well, check that. <laughs> and, the, and the reason I'm hopeful is I got him to watch, I can't remember another one. It was it was either Alice in Borderland or Sweet Home. Which I never got to check that one yet. They're, they're the both all right. Uh, I don't know about the the, the the anime adaptions were pretty decent actually too, or the live action adaptions I think were pretty good. Even the Sweet mm. Home one, which was a, I think it lent itself pretty decently to it though. Like it was a uh, horror manga, so you know what I mean. All they really needed to do was make monsters. 
kind of, mm-hmm. which uh, I don't know. I thought it was pretty well done. Honestly, Sweet Home, for as far as adaptions go, was really good. But I think the other difference was... Oh, that's that uh, Korean... Yeah, it's a Korean manga. Right? I have yeah. actually started watching that, too. Uh, I haven't finished it. I think I was, like, almost done with it. But I'm, it was pretty good. I mean, it was Yeah, like, it's not like it's super great or anything. But it's, like, you know, The I mean, animation solid. was a little... But it is a TV yeah, show on Netflix. Yeah, then that's like kind of said. I kind of gave it some. The other thing is, if you read the manga, you'll actually see it's not that far off. Like the things that okay. look crazy or weird look. And see, that's what I was gonna say. I was like, it kind of. I was probably they're probably going off of more of an don't, don't give me kind of look. Yeah, it. yeah, and don't get me wrong. Some of them are still like you know they're they're definitely not top tier VFX in any single way. But I was actually I can't remember which one it was um, that I that looks so much like it. Uh, that I even pointed out, I was like, that one is really well done. Uh, that it looks exactly like it did in the fucking uh, <clears throat> manga. But I can't remember which one it was, whether it was the bulky dumb fuck or the, um, the fast one or something. I can't remember. There's so much. And, they got to, they, and that's what I was saying, is even if it's not like the best piece of content necessarily, mm-hmm. it was a good adaption. In the sense that they mm-hmm. did a lot of very accurate stuff. They did. They tried to do the effects right. Like even if they weren't like necessarily the greatest, they didn't just like skip them. And I think once again they had a easier time because it really was a horror manga and a horror, you know, anime. It wasn't like mm-hmm. high fantasy right. a- anime where it's just like yeah, let's just turn dot hack. Actually, I think dot hack would be a really good switch over to live <laughs> action too nowadays after Ready Player One and everything. Oh shit! I forgot right. to uh- change the number. <laughs> <laughs> Every goddamn time. Um, I can do that though. I, got I was gonna say. Um, oh, so I did finish. Uh, well, I didn't finish, but I did go see uh, <laughs> this Friday uh, Ghostbusters uh, Afterlife, nice. and uh, it was it was really great. I uh, I th- I, c- I thought I remember that, but yeah, he it was. I think it is, but his son from Harold. Um, Harold Ramis was the, uh, because he's the one that did the writing and did, I think he directed even the first Ghostbusters film. Um, he did a lot of writing as actually as for a lot of classic 80s movies. I think they said he also did Groundhog Day. Um, yeah, so he, he was a, a big essential part to Ghostbusters. And uh, it was cool to see that, I, I believe they said it was a son redoing the this Afterlife movie. And they paid a really cool kind of like tribute to uh, his dad in the in the movie. So I thought that was really kind of even made me a little shed a little tear at the end. Oh, that's really <laughs> um, cool. Definitely, I think it was good. It's one of those things where like definitely like the critics like hate it. Not, not like hated it, but just like this is not what they were, I guess, expecting, you know? I hate it. When, then, if, whenever they're then, like, I expect it. I'm like, mm-hmm. right. And then the audience is like, this is exactly what we wanted. And it's like a 90%. Or 99, 98, or 97 percent right now on the audience score with Rotten Tomatoes, and everywhere I, when I leave and look on the comments, you know, Facebook, even on there, like the fans are just loving it. And they're even when like reviews, it's really funny. Like some reviewers have come out too saying like I didn't really, you know, it wasn't that great either. But you could see in those comments saying like this is yeah, don't listen to this, go watch this movie. There's just so many people saying that in the comments and. Yeah, it, it's uh, one of those things, yeah, that it was, like, split from the critics and the audience. The critics definitely didn't understand, but, like, I, I for sure do understand it was a nostalgic train, but the, you know what? There's nothing really wrong with that. It's, I think, what people were really I, wanting, and he gave it to them. <laughs> and, and here's the thing is I always have to stop myself when I'm watching a film and say, you know, you're, like, how are you watching this? Are you watching this as a moviegoer right now, or are you watching mm-hmm. this as a content critic right like or there's somebody who's trying to make content and review it and that that question alone changes how i start to evaluate the movie because if i don't take that in mind i start missing the big picture so for example i watched uh army of was it army of the dead uh zack snyder's one, uh, the zombie oh one. Yeah, yeah 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 so i finally watched that one uh, because basically I've just heard good things about it. Everybody I, I talked to is like, you should watch this. It's pretty good. I enjoy it. Um, and it was. It was pretty good, and I enjoyed it. But I had this. It's a different s- type of zombie movie. Oh, absolutely, sure. absolutely. And honestly, it's you know uh, done well in certain places. But I think a big part of it, like watching it, is I have to remember that not everybody is watching a movie and like picking at it 
as a critic, mm-hmm. right? Not everybody's watching him like, well, how, how is Batista a line chef? When he could easily get any number of physical jobs that paid way better than a line chef and would be able to because he's a huge – he could be a bouncer and make $500 a night, bro. You know what I mean? Uh, but 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 letting go of stuff like that or like silly stuff that doesn't really matter, right? Like it's like picky, nitpicky, dumb shit uh, makes it better. Like it's a it makes it a decent movie because then I'm just enjoying the ride, right? Like I'm just enjoying mm-hmm. the zombie tiger. I'm not like you know trying to analyze the zombie tiger. It's like no, just, right. that's not that that's not a part to analyze in the story, and that's not. So I think it was pretty good. Like I said, it was maybe I think like a seven out of ten for me, which is no, nice. which is pretty good for you definitely. Know. You should check out the other one. That, I actually think that like one looks better. The... I actually think that one looks much better because I like that. I, mean, oh, I think the it's Army of Thieves. Yeah, uh, only because I like that character. So like I really yeah, liked that, that character. Say, yeah, he, I really liked his, yeah, his yeah, character. Yeah, the Dieter character was definitely. really cool. Um, definitely one of my favorite parts of the movie was that character uh, not just like in general but I think he was a very uh, good um, not foible but uh, expositionary thing where he's like you know talking about you know so do we shoot how do we shoot the zombies how do we kill the zombies oh, who else hasn't <laughs> killed a zombie You're right where so you have a one moment in the story where it's just like you get an idea of uh, everything going on Although even that, like I said, then that one came in later. But it was, like I said, I, I was enjoyable, and I think it's important for critics to remember that to like not nitpick. And two, uh, I don't know. I think that Ghostbusters was already gonna had a pretty good chance for me because it wasn't a remake or like no, it was no, just definitely a not. sequel. It was a yeah sequel. And um, going back to Ghostbusters, yeah, they uh, I think they really did a good job of like of opening up the doors to like yeah a new generation mm-hmm. of. Uh, kids to love ghostbusters and do a new you know new gender it doesn't have to be the you know the old cast um i definitely yeah. would recommend if you are watching ghostbusters to stick to the very very end of the movie because there's a mid credits and there's a very very end credit as well and uh it, it plays an important i think right. it's and an important scene <laughs> I, i'm gonna say this i'm gonna go out on a limb people won't like it people won't like me but I'm going to say this. You shouldn't need a goddamn end credit scene to stay to the end of the credits and appreciate the people who made the movie. <laughs> I'm not lying. Some of those people, yeah. some people didn't get paid and and volunteered for movies so that they could get their name in those credits. I'm yeah, not definitely. even lying. So, like, yeah. the, I really respect end credit I'm... scenes. I know it's, like, kind of a gimmick. No, 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 no. No, my... My mother is one of those people who li- actually likes to watch the end credit because she actually likes to see like who was who was that who played that person. Oh, and she's no, like, yeah. oh, I didn't know who that was. <laughs> and, and and I'm not and, gonna front and say like that I'm that kind of because I'm not. I'm not gonna be like say that I am. But what I will say is, especially when they've get, taken the time out nowadays to like give you those kinds of things. Like the best example I always think of is like Toy Story's old credits. Where they would still be doing like reels and yeah, like those are pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, that, even yeah, just kind of little stuff. things to just to give some production value to the credits, because I'm like I said, I, I'm not gonna like, you know, tell people like, oh well, you know, credits are the most interesting thing in the world. You know, it's just text going down a lot of time. <laughs> but man, like <laughs> people worked pretty hard on that movie, man. The, um, the, what I was also gonna say the uh, characters, the the kids who played uh, some of the characters, uh, podcast is one of the characters. I actually really enjoyed his character. He was the kind of the comedic relief through the whole movie, especially Paul Rudd as well. He was also yeah, I figured uh, that's comedic the other relief. thing. But he was Rudd. he was good. I really liked him in the movie too. Um, I liked. I liked the um, I forget the Springler. I could probably not saying the last name right uh, for um, for the actual. Um, character in the one you know passed away um they're, it's his family in the actual movie and they they come into his house and kind of to take over it because he um no longer there so that's kind of who that's like i said it's kind of based around his family and everything that's it's really cool just a really uh interesting to see and then the daughter of the mom uh kind of being you know that replacement scientist kind of character and she was re- she played a really good part in there uh, her first uh the name of the character was phoebe uh in that movie okay and uh yeah, she, she, she yeah she did a really good job i really liked her character i can't remember her brother's name um 
but he's the same uh you would know him anyways he's the character that played uh, from stranger things oh, okay uh, i, I remember kids, seeing so. him in the trailers so yeah so he's uh he's in there as well he also did a very wonderful job as well so i, I really like the kid cast they all did good job uh and they also put um a good job of prosthetics as well with the cgi as well for the monsters and ghosts so cool. that was cool little tad bit i didn't think they they were going to even do the prosthetics i thought they were going to go full on you know cgi which most movies do nowadays which is understandable i mean you can get better scenes with those i mean <laughs> do i guess but prosthetics like i said is always still a good uh yeah i'm uh, play, uh, like holds a special place in my heart <laughs> with the uh, prosthetics i'm gonna be honest and I, I it's probably not an agreed upon opinion by anybody else but like i'm personally think that uh the com like there there's a very delicate combo of prosthetics and virtual effects Mm -hmm. that make the best like most believable risk because yeah, my problem definitely. with Jurassic park being number oh, one yes right? <laughs> oh my god so good um but uh the my thing is like even in very highly virtualized settings such as like ready player one where the vfx stuff is well done or what or whatever you know you give good examples i can't remember there was another really big one they are too realistic if that makes sense they are hyper realistic mm -hmm. almost it's kind of like watching oh, okay. shit in 48 yeah. frames too where it's just like yeah it's just awkward and it's not well yeah it doesn't natural. feel real at that point it yeah. just doesn't feel yeah, natural it's, yeah, it, it's yeah, believable mean, yeah. and it looks like it would be real but it doesn't feel natural mm -hmm. which is i mean i'm not gonna lie and say that's it's an easy thing um you know, to make something look real and natural, even even with virtual effects and stuff, especially things that are not real and natural, right? That do not actually exist, like in high fiction, doing the the worm. It's like, how do you make that feel real and natural when it's not? Um, right. Or superhero movies, right? Like, how do you make laser vision feel re like real? And right. And I feel like the that there's like a very delicate balance between that VFX prosthetics. Uh, that happened in like roughly between 80s to like 2010 that have like the best application for that and i wish we'd see more mm -hmm. prosthetic stuff mixed right. with the vfx stuff definitely um let's see here i know we talked a little bit about ghostbusters definitely go see it don't listen to the critics like i said yeah. <laughs> that I, one's a, a here, must at watch, this I point think. the critics have been taking drugs or something like no they haven't been putting out good <laughs> solid reviews like consistently in so long it's almost ridiculous and once again the problem is the critics there is no the critics you know what i mean like there are hundreds of critics across the world and mm -hmm. but we now we lump them all together on rotten tomatoes is one group when that's just not actually the case like they right. they represent factions yeah. um uh, i guess the one of the big things that we for sure i mean we did get to see a spider-man trailer but like was that as a teaser trailer but this one now that came yeah. out uh, just a couple days ago was the official trailer and we definitely got to see so a little bit more of that multiverse that everyone's been uh, so excited for and uh, been speculating about you know with other spider-man and yeah uh, yeah we got to see that i mean we basically seen jamie fox's cgi'd um electro and it was to the kind of more original look it, which I'm, i was more there's, happy with <laughs> i'm gonna be honest they've they've done a such a good job in upping the ante every single time right like don't get me wrong uh there's things but they go with all right we're like they're teasing the multiverse and then we're going to drop hints in other movies for crossovers, in other movie trailers for crossovers where we have these big, you know, right? Like, you've mm -hmm. seen the Morbius trailer, right? Or have you not checked it out? Yeah. So you, yeah, you yeah, already know. I mean, we got to see, Vol yeah, Michael Keaton's Vulture in there, which is like, oh, okay, what's going on there? Well, and it's just he's already kind of confirmed that he is also in this uh, Spider-Man movie, and because we only get five kind of villains we don't get that sinister six but if we michael keaton is saying he is the vulture that would then i guess sense. we get our sinister six i think we're absolutely <laughs> we're getting our sinister six there's no question about it at this point i think we all we we knew when the trailer dropped and a lot of people were like 
And people were even memeing about it before this trailer dropped for like a week straight. I kept seeing that Spider-Man poster, remember? And it'd be like, oh, Electro's yeah. electricity, the, the wing of Mysterio, <laughs> Venom's thing. Yeah. But uh, at, yeah, this, that was already... <laughs> at this <laughs> point... Those memes were going really funny with everyone. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is that, this is that. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, they were, they were still, good. It, you know, we the, were, you know... The fact is, more than half of the people who pe were memed about are actually being going to be in this movie. Electro yeah, is exactly. in this movie, and people, like I said, people were like, oh, well, no, the this and that, that's not Electro, mm -hmm. that's not... But like you said, at this point, we know what's going on. I'm just amazed they keep upping the ante because, once again, they went from multiverse to, right, confirm multiverse to confirm mm -hmm. same actor from previous multiversal movie run, right, with Doc mm -hmm. Ock, to improved version of previous actor from different multiversal run. There's no mm -hmm. offense to the original Electro, and I love that it is scientifically a bit more kind of realistic right with him being kind of made of straight electricity yeah i mean and i understand ways, they were I trying guess to that's do the blue and they were trying to make it look more well it was the ultimate kind of... universe right that it was yeah it that's was, yeah. they were doing that but but i like uh, classic electro that, I, yeah i more of the classic yeah i just the, like that the Chris... yeah more villainish kind of like yeah. i don't know like more old school villainish kind of like you know where's the mask kind of thing type villain there's, i don't know there's That's a lot to be said for it <laughs> i think there's going to be a, a much stronger performance in it from our good friend uh jamie fox yeah which they, uh i guess there was another tv spot that uh came out and they actually showed hit jamie fox to a little bit and i didn't yes. actually get to check it but yeah. it was a non-cgi jamie fox so um he's definitely doing a little bit of acting in here it's not yep. gonna just be all cgi well here. And, and even um, if it was man props to get them in, well, it's, yeah, it's, if they still yeah told them yeah, hey use my face let's go ahead let's and put me <laughs> let's be honest with the kind of movement they're putting in the multiverse but between different uh companies between different iterations of the same character this is going to be a first uh, yeah, I, I like the idea wise. that they did that. I really like that they kind of went with the whole multiverse. And they went more, a step further, not just saying it's the multiverse. They also went a step further and saying, well, we're also going to take the Sony-verse. We're going to also take, the, or no, not I guess the Sony-verse, the yeah. Sam Raimi-verse. Well, and but the... also the Sony-verse because we got so, yeah, Venom yeah. and we're getting Morbius. So we, and, and we got the other Electro. So we get the second and, iteration. We get every iteration. <laughs> Right. I thought that's just a good way to kind of make Sorry, everything more gone. cohesive, kind of, you know, and just, it's, you know, just because, you know, if you're, you're, you're kind of a little kid, and it's like, well, why is there another oh, Spider-Man movie? It, it's you kind can of, be like, it's <laughs> kind of fun. There's... <laughs> it's like Rogue One on crack, actually, when you think about it. Um, honestly, it, it very much is that hyper aggressive version. And that's why I was getting to the point of with all the crossovers and the first time thing, this is leading up to be not necessarily quite in an Infinity War level first but this is definitely like an avengers level first again where it's first multiversal prior film enterprise yeah, company movie versal i guess Mo say. well <laughs> even studio versal right even yeah, yeah, even yeah. though even with wb doing the crossover events in their tv series that was all the same studio under wb so yeah, this yeah, is this, this is, is breaking a lot of barriers and i'm loving it because it that opens up media and creativity and business even in a lot of ways whereas before with holding on to these titles so fucking aggressively that you're never you know um letting mm -hmm. any it's the same reason the same reason i'm pissed dc and marvel haven't done a crossover in like 20 years <laughs> bro like it's always, so much money about it but they, they tease never... <laughs> it and never do it the last one actually was like 2000 something i think or maybe 90 six or 99 it was like either a hulk superman or a, or a superman spider-man or something because it, it wasn't one of the big dc marvel or justice league avengers ones or the axis ones or the like think about all those crossovers and how much money it must have made them and how much money they can make right now doing a superman versus the hulk if they <laughs> eat yeah it, and i know it's because they can't you know if no one will ever decide on who wins the fight but god damn it man like the possibilities are coming, bro. They're coming right now. I'm just telling you, this is the first step. This is how things start. And then people learn that working exactly. together makes more money than trying to yeah. beat the jack crap out of each other. Yeah. Or at least right. more good stuff. I mean, 
And just to go more to the Spider-Man trailer, I just saw those little stuff that they showed us. I mean, we got oh, William yeah. Defoe. So we have. Um, it was so much good. Alfred. Shit. Uh, what's his? Uh, I, can't I can't remember. Uh, Melina. 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 There we go. Yeah. I mean, that. That's just. Uh, I always liked Spider-Man too, and the, he. He was always my favorite villain, Doc Ock. I thought it's he did a very good job. It's still on my list. Is probably one of the best superhero movies canonically. Right or like made as far as rounded movies. Spider-Man Two is an all-around good movie. Mm-hmm. Definitely. And then uh, what else? Who else? Do, oh, li we got our Lizard as well from Andrew Garfield's Amazing Spider-Man. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't like kinda... that one that much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I, I even like the Electro one more I than the Lizard. I did like that they made him more lizardish. Oh no no no! <laughs> I mean, it was more of a snout. See, and that's uh, that's the, the problem. All right, thank you for reminding me. Now I gotta go back. Actually, have I ever even seen? No, I saw the second one. I remember yeah, him so making in the, the webs in the, in the, the sewers and yeah, beating and his, the shit out of him. Yeah, now is more kind of push mushed in a little I bit. I remember it and now. And it's more humanish a little bit. Humanoid. That's what that, sorry I meant to say. And he looks just like with scaly skin. That's I think at this point the only people who have not been basically confirmed for this movie are the other two Spider-Men. And they keep denying it, but I mean, they, they're they saying that they're in. And then there's also that kind of like, you, you know how people are so good with these trailers. There's the Brazilian trailer that came out that is a little bit more extended on that final scene when mm -hmm. Spider-Man's coming out after all of them. Um, the lizard kind of like gets like he's getting punched, but there's nothing there. His neck kind of just goes like that. And it's like, well, it looks like I see like someone's already punching him. I see somebody's so already he's... been on the fucking, the four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's too much, bro. There's so much going on, and then it's like that was the whole theory, Marvel though. Doing their little edit, edit. Uh, that's the thing. You know, we have no magic. idea what's coming, and we've already we've already been hit with a couple, basically, right? Where you could go through and see where they've kind of altered footage from the first trailer to the second trailer, and made changes mm -hmm. to like make it less apparent, right? Whether that Electro and the Goblin were there, or you know, and obviously we already kind of knew, right? Like everybody was pushing Sinister Six. Like I said, they. I don't know how Marvel continues to kill that shit. Like, every single time I think they're going to hit a wall, right? Like, I was certain by the end of Infinity War, right? Especially with the state of the industry going down pretty soon after that because of COVID and, like, black, you know, mm -hmm. like, everything, everything. I was like, look, they're going to have a tough, really hard time keeping it going like keeping the train going even if not kicking up the, gear and i the tv shows for sure kind of is where it kind of made me for you know felt like okay i think they still kind of know what they're going to be doing oh here. and like i, I mean yeah vision was great i mean we we no, both no, no, loved no, it yeah. i loved it yeah but i know what you Absolutely. mean yeah, yeah but i was worried um, about the like i said the cinema yeah, especially with things yeah. like shang chi and the eternals coming out yeah which I have still haven't seen the turn. I haven't yet, seen and yet, I, but I, I know people. I've heard it liked down. it, and then again, yeah. Like I said, I've heard it's one. it's an it's a half and half, of, which but is it's like a, it's another cast that like you know nobody really know. even like like hardcore Marvel fans like really don't really care too much. Like about I said, I I, I would much. not have done Eternals. Eternals would have been is a riskier move than a Inhumans movie. You know, it's I mean, except for the fact the Inhumans TV show already kind of flopped. Yeah. So. That one's. You know. <laughs> I definitely have to go check Eternals. Yeah, when, uh, I, it's I on my. Back. Yeah, it's, got... it's on my list. Um, but I we we can talk about Shang Chi because we did see Shang Chi, and once again, I wasn't necessarily super worried about the movie itself. A hundred percent, I was worried about the reception of the movie in the general public. Right, Shang Chi is much mm -hmm. much like Ant Man. A character, actually, even less than Ant-Man. Like, it's hard to to. I mean, he has no powers really. I mean, even he beyond has mystical well, yeah. Things well, they happen, gave him but... they gave him a lot more kind of <laughs> in this. Yeah, yeah. They kind of but, gave him a little bit of a boost. Yeah, but only the, at the end. The so, scale uh, skin. Yeah. At, well, that. But I was more like at the end where he's like. Oh, and then the ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that yeah, was yeah, pretty yeah. much obviously the connection to the Mandarin and the rings was new. And they kind of merged the kind of the master I, I kung like fu. Their, the way they did it, yeah. Because I'm not gonna lie, the it, it Mandarin been a little too weird if they did kind of the actual rings. That, and they'd be like, "Hey, isn't that the Infinity Gauntlet over there? What's going on?" Over it's here? just too similar. <laughs> it was it was one too similar, and two, the the way the rings function versus the Infinity Gauntlet, it is not as visually impressive. It's not as visually yeah. impressive to go like that. It looks like a Power Ranger pose. You know what I mean? To put your fist out and just. <laughs> pew 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 like it's cool but it's 
even less intimidating somehow than like finger pistol. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> but um but more than that, I, I actually thought the switching of the rings to the, the bands was a much a visual improvement. Yeah. I think it gave a lot of action. Definitely, yeah. Uh gave Definitely. a lot of movement. And then giving it more of kinda like instead of like you said, all these power sets that it had, it was it had more I had a few power it, power says, but it wasn't like you know, like on this high magnitude of like you could do this, you could do that. You right. Could do that. <laughs> the rings were were more of the uh, like, and the abilities the rings could do were uh, evolution of the rings' basic ability, which was control. Right, like it was controlling the mm -hmm. rings, and like you could sh fly because you could shoot off the ground. You could uh, control wind by making the rings move, right, or doing these mm -hmm. different things. I think it was really well done there. The thing is, and people are like, oh, you know, th this is where accuracy and uh, functionality slash, like, believability from the audience has to be taken into account. Um, it's the kind of, like, Superman versus Batman thing. You can't just have, like, obviously Superman could just shoot in at a billion miles an hour or whatever and, and punch Batman into the sun. But that doesn't make for a very fun to write story. It doesn't look good. Yeah. It does like, Nothing no. about it is going to be, like... What I know want. we want to do. You want to say like, well, that can never happen. But like you said, there. Is, then where is the story at? There is nothing to basically write. Then at that point, well, it's <laughs> you know, a five-second like, okay. story that visually, if he's punching him at a billion <laughs> miles an hour, you're never gonna even see him. He'll be there one second, gone the other. Then the Earth explodes from the science of you know moving that fast through the atmosphere. Like I said, it it becomes these whole things, right? Where it's like, eh stories need to be written with a purpose and not always with pure logic or this or that and so mm -hmm. like uh for shang chi it made sense for me for example like to let, let's be honest the master of kung fu is one of the weakest marvel characters that ever exist not like in terms of fighting but like in terms of story mm -hmm. writing and like originality and background and every single thing I about mean, him is a really a just came out you know because of the bruce lee craze absolutely. really is honestly no, no, no. why he came out absolutely and he's developed over time over time shang chi has become a yeah, much definitely better character like shang chi from uh, avengers world like early 2000 shang chi is probably my favorite shang uh character to read at that time and also just my favorite version of shang chi's it's such an interesting relaxed character that's also you know what i mean got a balance of you know comedy sometimes and like mm -hmm. he's very interesting because yeah, he usually just shows that up last mini series i read with him was uh was not too bad actually yeah because i yeah. wanted to read just one little series yeah. with him just to kind of get a little bit more mm -hmm. of the character but yeah it, it wasn't too bad um and i know they came out with another series just after that i think that was still another mini series it wasn't an ongoing yeah. but still um i heard it was not too bad as well so yeah and once again shang chi is not like like i said he's not one of those stand outish characters necessarily but he has potential when worked and put into the right situations right like i said in avengers world that whole run of the avengers comics was great and better for him for having him in it you know what i mean um mm -hmm. and i think once again i think shang chi did exactly what it was supposed to do both from a marketing and a creative standpoint which was to open up a uh marvel's maybe a heavier movement into fighting and choreography because that is something that while we've had it obviously in movies i feel like that is not something that is spectacular in marvel no offense no, to them but, yeah, no, no, but no. fighting choreography is not where they excel yeah most definitely mostly because they deal with characters that don't need fighting like when you can throw a bus who cares if you can punch three times in one second i just throw a bus at you right like the hulk doesn't <laughs> need to know martial arts real you know realistically um right but I think they opened up the door for new characters by doing things like Black Widow and Shang-Chi and having these more choreographed, mm -hmm. more open, right? Less less pure superhero movies and more styled movies, which I feel like they've been moving more and more into. And I, I've said it before that they've done this in the past, not with their main characters, but with their offshoots, where it's like Ant-Man is like a dad movie. It really is like a... <laughs> like it is it's a dad movie it is yeah I, and i i love it i love that movie and i love the series for it all the more and then and then the second one is a um is like a daughter movie almost or like a because they're going back to find the mom or whatever right in um mm -hmm. and so that one is a totally different movie right like it has a totally different tone it, it's not really oh god i keep forgetting that that thing likes to fall <laughs> the new one the new setup is not meant for that thing to move by touching that <laughs> anyway the uh yeah this and so 
I think they're getting even better at stylizing the movies to be more than just superhero movies. Uh, thus solidifying, once again, the superhero movie as its own new genre that I think is probably going to stick around. <laughs> It's been Definitely. it's 20 years now. I don't think it's going anywhere. I mean, yeah, soon. I know some people are still trying to talk it down. Really, Scott being that, one of the newest ones. <laughs> look, and I respect it. I respect their film craft and, you know, the, all the yeah, great works that definitely. they've put in. But I think they need to realize what exactly genre is uh, and, you know, look at the facts. That's pretty much all you ever have to do is, like, you know, the, they said the same thing about uh, Star Wars space movies when they came out. And it's like, it's a fad. It'll never last. We may get space movies to this day. Um, and it's the one that actually replaced the cowboy movie. <laughs> like right, it it, I, which much. is kind of messed up. Oh, uh, how much time have we been on? Ooh, a little bit longer. I got to deny a call real quick. <laughs> I was looking. I was like, what time <laughs> is it? Because I'm going to call. Definitely. Well, um, we can yeah, get over a few more things and then can get off here. and then. Oh, uh, yeah. No, yeah, no rush at here. all. Um, I know that there was one big thing that like a big event that we missed uh, that we you know, didn't miss, but like didn't talk about because uh, we weren't on uh, the air for a little bit. But there was Disney Plus Day. And that was just last week, and oh my gosh, man, they talked about so much stuff coming out, and I'm oh, so excited. Uh, especially Marvel, they like had a whole Marvel panel, they had a whole Pixar panel. <laughs> of course, um, they did. There was everything. Um, I'll kind of go off the list here, but uh, so we're getting a cheaper by the De dozen original movie uh, streaming March 2022. 20, uh, uh, we got an official trailer for the Bayamax uh, series yeah. coming out uh, summer 2022. Um, that looked interesting. It doesn't look like he's kind of. It looks like he's kind of more helping the community kind of episodes more instead of being ground the superhero kind of type thing. So we'll see how that's gonna go. But it, it, um, either way, I'll check it out. <laughs> I've always liked the first uh, Big Hero Six movie. Oh, um, one, one of the biggest ones I was really excited for, and they did give to actually show us a trailer, was the new uh, Proud Family uh, show, and it's actually called Proud Family Louder and Prouder. <laughs> Louder and um, Prouder. So, and it, it's really, uh, yeah, I can't wait. It, it has a little bit more of an adultish feel to it, a little bit, uh, just on some scenes, because there's even a scene when Trudy and... Um, Oh, how am I forgetting his name? Uh, the husband are, uh, yeah, Oscar. Or they're both on the couch and they kind of like hear Penny coming in and they kind of like do a switch around and he's wearing, she's wearing his clothes and he's wearing her clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and she's asking like hey what are you guys doing so i was like <laughs> oh, so it's kind of got a little bit because they know who their crowd is a little bit you know because it's more of a mature you know who's going to be watching this and um i kind of like that you know that it's not going to be it doesn't feel like it's going to be too kiddish you know it looks like they're going to put in some kind of like pixar kind of adult jokes you know how they like to do that sometimes yeah <laughs> um just you know just to make the adults laugh but it kind of goes over pixar the, is the kids. A, pixar is a king of that you got to admit uh pixar is oh. absolutely the king of like the adult like i think of things like wally -E and that's pixar right I swear yeah, that was, yeah, 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 Pixar. Uh, where there, there are these multi-layered stories of like, this is good for adults, this is good for kids. We, we're gonna sell them both. Like, you know what I mean? They're, they're so good at it. Definitely. Um, some of the uh, another big news was, and then we've kind of heard the, the rummages coming in about this, but uh, it is finally gonna happen. We're getting a uh, Hocus Pocus two finally coming out, and that will be coming out next year fall. Yeah, and, and we got uh, all the. We have Everyone playing yeah. basically their roles again. Sarah Jessica Parker, Kathy Najima, I can sorry for butchering that name, uh, Betty Miller is also coming out as they're all playing their roles again. And uh, there's quite a few other uh, casts as well in there. So um, we're not getting the original kids coming back, it looks like. I think they even said they weren't even really asked to come back. So kind of yeah. sad, but oh well. I mean, understandable, I guess, they're going, I guess, in some type of different direction with this, but. It would have been cool to at least see a cameo, at least. But yeah, we'll, I mean, and there's, and we'll that's see. not Maybe the they same. May add them, yeah, they may yeah. add them last minute still. They we, still got time. I mean, they, it's, absolutely, it's got a year, right? It's gonna come out around Halloween, hopefully. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. so definitely, yeah, definitely probably around that Halloween time. Cool. Um, one of the bigger ones was uh, the Rescue Rangers movies coming out, and Adam oh. Sandberg, and um, oh, who, who's the God. other actor? Adam Sandberg, and sorry if I'm reading, uh, John Mulaney. Mulaney is gonna be playing um chip and dale 
I wonder uh, how that Sandberg I think will be Dell, of course. <laughs> yeah, fair. Uh, and... I mean, Melanie's great. Obviously, we know Melanie's had some acting chops through things mm -hmm. like Big Mouth and a bunch of other stuff for VA. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering if they're going to be trying to do voice recreations of like the original Chippendales. Or yeah, I wonder how that's gonna go. Yeah, because yeah, I love definitely. the rescue it's not rangers. Not a reboot. They said it. It's not. That's what they even did in the trailer. They're like, it's a comeback. It's a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll see how that goes out. Uh, they didn't show too much of this, but they did announce a little bit that they are going forward with the Pinocchio live action film. Um, we know Tom Hanks is going to be Geppetto. Um, Cynthia Arrivio, Luke Evans, and the voices of Benjamin Evan Answer, Joseph Gordon Livett. Um, oh, he's gonna be there. Keegan. Oh, Keegan Michael Key. Oh, okay. Really? I, I like when yeah. Keegan Michael Key's in the movie. <laughs> well, and we know that they can and... do voices, so. I mean, both of them can do so, great voices. I, yeah, I wonder. I'm excited. You know, I would like to, him to be the cricket. If they put him as the cricket, I'm on. Okay, fair. Yeah. Dude, it's been so long since I've see seen the some cricket. of these things that I got to go back. Like, I'm going to have to watch all the Spider Mans again. Yeah, uh, go ahead and Rangers. yeah, they're on demand and like all the services right now because I kind of had a feeling that that's why they were back on because they were kind of trying oh, to absolutely. put it so that people would dude, watch these Ether... first so they don't go in blind. Bro, like, where the hell are these characters because now? <laughs> otherwise, I've learned that stuff that is marginally old, anything older than like five years, starts to drift to random platforms in in in, in like hard to find places like it would be like, oh, this one's only on Premiere or only on mm -hmm. Peacock or only on. And it's like, like right now it's on Cartoon Network all the Spider-Man movies. <laughs> like it's so random who gets the movie. Like I'm just like I'm waiting for him to pass into public domain when we're all dead. Then no one will give two fucks about him because they can't make money off of him, so they won't play him anymore. <laughs> uh, um, that's so fun. Let's see. Uh, so there's that. Uh, there was a um, kind of an interesting movie trailer, Sneakerella, which is Cinderella but with sneakers. <laughs> so we'll see how that one goes. Um, oh, this is one that um, was probably exciting for some people, but the Spiderwick Chronicles uh, live action original series will be coming out. I know that they did the movie, and I guess I didn't do so well, and uh, they were supposed to do, you know, kind of like more after that. And I think this was after like all the Harry Potter and kind of all that stuff was coming out, and um, they were trying to cash in on all that stuff. <laughs> but yeah, didn't do, do do so well that first movie. But hopefully the series will do uh, much better. I know there's a lot of hardcore uh, Spiderwick Chronicle fans out there, and uh, hopefully they get what they deserve in this one. I I hope they you know this from some of the designs that they're showing us. I mean, looks like they're gonna go pretty outrageous, <laughs> right? <laughs> with I, the show, so we'll see. Here's the thing I've found, especially with the way the media is and the way it's evolving lately, uh, that basically. If something is good, right? The the source material is good, mm -hmm. and it has a fan base, and it can you know still, it will get its second chance. Because things right. I I keep thinking like uh, was it I remember there's a TV show that came, but that was based off the Golden Compass series that had done the movie right that never got anywhere. Oh yeah. But then they did a TV show yeah, years yeah. later. Um, thinking about uh samurai jack thinking about uh right oh my god so many different examples G4. right bleach <laughs> uh just came back for its last season um oh did that finally finish up already well that, it's coming uh... the the anime oh, is coming okay. back it still for has, its it still it hasn't started hasn't, okay yeah, okay yeah. i was gonna say that i was like did it start already no it didn't <laughs> okay start. oh not, yeah yeah i can't wait till that comes back that's gonna be awesome <laughs> yeah definitely um Oh, um, I'll kind of go through a little bit more here faster because there's just so much stuff, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> there's um, Willow is coming back. Um, and we have some of the uh, the original star playing Willow is coming back. So that's really cool. Um, and then some they showed off some of the younger cast that would be in the, sh the movie as well. I think it's a movie. No, it's a series. Sorry. I misread that. It's going to be a series as well. Um, that will be premiering next year as well. Um, we do have some stuff, like I said, from Pixar. Uh, they have this thing called Cars on the Road. Um, Owen Wilson and Car uh, Larry the Ca Cable Guy will be reprising their roles as well. Um, so that will be an original series that comes out. Okay. I don't know what it's going to be about too much. They just kind of give us some concept designs. There's even one where they're like, looks like they're in the past and they have like dinosaur tractors chasing them. <laughs> so let's see how that goes. Um, oh, they finally gave us a little bit a teaser of the Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, series. And guess who's coming back? 
Uh, they have hate. Yeah, Hayden Christian is, yeah, right. Play. I did yeah, hear that. He's playing his, yeah, so I was like, oh my gosh, man. It's going to be great. If he's going to be playing Darth Vader, it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see this. Like, I think for sure fans have really wanted that, you know, this like kind of like... Because, you know, if you really think about in the last movie with the Sith, it was not really a good, like, send-off, you know? I mean, because they're kind of just like, boom, it was done, and it's like, okay. There was there was hardships, you know, there, and they didn't really get I to, mean, like... So I can't wait to see movie, the interaction, yeah. I basically, with the, these two again and on the screen, and, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, let's see, the last couple things here was... Oh, uh... For Marvel, we had a lot of... Oh, well, I guess let me say these uh, things first. There's another show called Win or Lose from uh, Pixar. And it's just going to be, I guess, uh, each episode's different on each kid. Um, and then... Oh, I did not think they would announce this, but they did. We're getting another Predator movie, and it's coming out as early as next year, and it's going to be on Hulu. <laughs> <laughs> and it's called uh, Prey, the movie. That's going to be the first time a Predator movie has been called something different. Than, than a predator. predator, yeah. That's going to be... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think that marketing strategy might backfire. <laughs> we'll it should have been It should have um, been called Predator Prey. <laughs> like... yeah, yeah, they should have. Um, I'm just I do saying. like what they're going with it, though. They're going 300 uh, years in the past... Uh, and uh yeah so it's going to be around like kind of an indian nation a little bit that so we'll see how that's going to go they gave us a little bit of a uh, like a not teaser but it's like more of a teaser poster kind of okay and uh yeah it looked interesting we the guy who did clover uh cloverfield lane and the boys dan trantenberg is going to be doing this uh directing it and okay. then the produce yeah so it's gonna be on hulu next year really fast so i can't wait to finally see another i'm always a big predator fan so i'll see any predator movie they throw at me <laughs> same i mean i i just love the characters in the create the universe so like for me it doesn't matter Definitely. good or bad i'm gonna watch it and then i just hope it's good and once again even the, even the worst predator movies are pretty decent yeah, yeah i end like, up liking it just because sometimes i come up with some cool design yeah the, the movie, cool so. design or an interesting like change up like oh well there's the you know i remember the avp ones it's like they Super just have Predator the fucking like... uh they have the <laughs> the thing under right. the iceberg and it's like ah oh, cool whatever or the hybrid right like it's just a little shit where it's like every even the bad movies have something good in them that's yeah. worth remembering all right but um <laughs> we are getting uh, towards the end time if there's anything yeah, specific I'll, uh, yeah i'll just go over marvels and and marvels was just uh, agatha the house of harkin uh harkiness is coming out um oh big one that you'll probably be happy about x-men uh 97 is coming back with all new episodes in 2023 yeah i so, heard i heard yeah. it's going to be a continuation yeah my brother was so. really excited about it because he's a you know from that era of like 80s to 90s where he was already like 10 oh, when man, it came I out i love the x it was 90s show man that, it's still that intro <laughs> uh, once again it's my definition of a comic to thing adaption because even though it's maybe not the best animated series ever made it's probably the most accurate comic to animated series for story like legit right. the first three or four seasons are ripped straight from the comic books i swear to god they're so goddamn close it's <laughs> ridiculous it, uh, it must have saved storyboarding a ton of money but like it's just like what are we doing this week right. As issue 181 bam motherfucker or more like 444 but but yeah so I, i'm excited um, for it though super did you see that they put out the sketches on their twitter for some yeah, of their yeah, they did, yeah. and then Hasbro's even doing some special six-inch uh, cell-shaded figures for it. Ooh, um, I haven't so... bought any figures in a while, but this might be the time. <laughs> this might be the <laughs> one, bro. <laughs> uh... um, oh, so that's some of the last things here: Secret Invasion is the I, show yes, we're getting with that. Nick Fury. Yep. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, I was like, yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. Marvel Zombies. What? We're getting a show. Yeah, I didn't we're know that they Marvel released Zombie that. Show. I didn't know they released the info for that. Oh my god! Yeah. Yes, we needed one. But oh man, but it's not gonna be that same art style. I don't think though. It I don't. Need, it's be, more about this the story. Own show, so probably. Oh, more about the story. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, what I just want it to be that. darker. I mean, you know what I mean? I want it to be the. Yeah, yeah. You know. I hope they do. I hope they go more of the I dark really, They, they expect to. the people who are going to watch us, you know, know what, what where the source material about. come from. And 
Um, another big one was Ironheart uh, is official series coming out. It's not going to be a movie. She'll be a series. Um, I, I don't know if she'll be showing up in the Wakanda movie first or this first because I know she's supposed to be showing up in the Black Panther. Uh, there was already uh, pictures of her on set over there. So we'll see where she comes out first there uh, for Riri Williams. Um, oh, uh, at, uh, I Am Groot coming out as well. Uh, don't, no official date, just coming soon. This one kind of was like, whoa, okay, didn't know this is coming out. But Spider-Man Freshman Year well, is an animated original series also coming soon. Um, so I'm always up for some new Spider-Man stuff. The thing oh, is, like, what yeah. if season two, <laughs> which got greenlit, coming out? Yeah, it, we had basically knew that was greenlit halfway yeah. through the first season. Yeah. And uh, I, you know, yeah. and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the What If series. It was I, really cool know, to kind of do the yeah. connection of the MCU and everything. Yeah, it was cool. I really and, enjoyed it. And here's the thing: like, I think people are always like, "Oh, this like there are bad episodes too." My opinion: like, obviously, people are going to have varying levels of like episode to episode. Because, mm-hmm. with the exception of, like, the last two episodes, there is no consistent story, right? The consistent story right. gets wrapped at the end of that last episode, uh, which is fine, and I loved it. What I love, though, now is seeing the concept being pushed now. Like, I've seen posts where they're, like, what ifing Marvel other movies, where it's like, what if, uh, you know, uh, so-and-so won in Rocky instead of Rocky, or just you know like and it's so funny because it's opening their multiversal minds and i'm just like you fools you're only now beginning to understand the concept of fan fiction i was born i was born in it i was already i was i was already a man before i had seen an original concept <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, definitely, definitely. I, I was glad to see that they're going to be doing that What If series. I mean, hey, look at who I got over here. Yeah. We have oh, my God. The Uatu. Watcher. Which I do love that they Ooh. did. They they made it Uatu, right? It, they, they, he said it was Uatu, I thought, during the series. Probably. Yeah, uh, I think they did say that was his name. I think it was Uatu. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. You Maybe know what? Not. I'm pretty Maybe sure not. they actually didn't say. They just said it was the Watcher. I think they so did. So I think they're job. just going off of, like, just one Watcher right now. We'll see. I'm going to check, um, but I, know, I think yeah, there's, right. there's more, you know, there's one for each universe usually. And, uh, yeah, they kind of, it kind of made him like he was the watcher for all the universes, uh, in this series. So yeah, well, uh, definitely. Well, but, you know, I mean, it was, I, it was very basically interesting. Who I, that's who I say he is. He's basically who that yeah, is we, me, I mean, Uatu. we already know it's Uatu. <laughs> one, Uatu is the only watcher that will actually interfere, first of all. Uh, oh yeah well that's not true there were a couple others but you know that's supposed to be their whole job is not to interfere uh so yeah well no because they didn't Uh, they do that whole background on his story too where they had like because he didn't he have a little backstory i swear in like uh, episodes maybe i'm tripping maybe i'm just thinking i don't think so not for him too much that's fair um and then, well, yeah, so I can get you, I got to get going here. But no, no, uh, let no, me get good. you off on some last three things here. Um, She-Hulk uh, was officially, we already knew it was coming up, but they finally said it's coming soon. They're just kind of keep giving us title names. And yeah, they just keep pushing that. it off. Marvel, uh, we already know it's coming out, but this should be coming out actually summer 2022. That's it's what they're announcing. And then Moon Knight is Which coming I'm soon as well super, we don't have an official i'm super for excited that, but... i love the casting i love everything about that honestly yeah definitely definitely if you guys want to see a little bit more though of um i guess teasers for those shows you can go ahead on disney plus now and they have like a section for disney plus day and one of them was like a marvel teaser segment yeah. and you can just watch it and it's, it's not really a saying it's just trailers of like basically i'm we've checking all it seen, out. but then sure. at the very end it shows us of what's to come and they show us a little bit of glimpses of the she hulk the nice. moon knight and then miss marvel as well um we're all showing a little bit in there but uh yeah other than that i mean that's pretty much yeah i mean just like i said there's a bunch of cool stuff that came out on disney plus day for sure if you guys haven't checked it out i mean there's a lot of ton of stuff they even released for it um but definitely there was even like a simpsons <laughs> disney i couldn't even believe they let them do that i definitely check it out but it's a simpsons episode and they like literally took disney characters and put them in moe's bar i saw that one with the uh they, they got they did that with loki's <laughs> stuff too and so they, the, i, I don't want to spoil it but just just mickey mouse shows up but just nothing mickey mouse you want to see <laughs> just watch it um it's, I'm excited it, i thought it was it. hilarious I think that they fun. even did that 
I, uh, I just like that Disney is okay with them being like, you know, we know we have adult, you know, fans, fans out yeah. there. We'll also kind of give them that content from here to the time there as well. Um, yeah, other than that, I think that was pretty much it. I, I guess we did get the Netflix live action series as well for is in production as well. And we did get to see who are the cast members. I still feel like Aang is still a little bit too young because I, I, they're probably not going to go that route. You know, that love interest between Katara and him because he's yeah, a little too young for the person that they pick for Katara and Aang is way too young. So I don't think they're going to go that route, which I guess is some people are like, I guess that's not you know he's uh he's old anyways right he's 100 years old and she's 17 <laughs> so it, but i don't know it's a cartoon show it's whatever but we'll see how that goes i mean i know we didn't get the original creators that are um going with this because there were some differences for sure on that but um i'll definitely check out the show and uh i am at least excited that they are kind of giving everyone kind of like more of like the like each you know because like i know each rate there was a different race for each nation you know like i know the fire nation i think was japanese and uh they had a like bunch Katara of and them were like uh eskimo i think eskimo no they were not eskimo i they thought were they like, were uh, all um like uh they were sub groups so it was supposed to be the ainu or the um yeah 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 then yeah, yeah. you had them like that the, the, like the buddhist monks and the napoli didn't definitely yeah with the, the air yep. yeah and yeah, the airman. So it does seem like they're kind of, you know, going off all that, which is what, you know, the whole show was about anyways. Yeah, I mean, because then the, with the M. Night Shyamalan, it was kind of like you just picked anybody to play that character. And it's like you everyone. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Um, uh, I duck said definitely I'll check it out and uh, we'll see when it finally comes out. Definitely. I mean, I'm super excited for it. Like I said, uh, the it because it has the original kind of attached tacked on otherwise it would maybe be more i don't know or didn't they drop I, on it this? just yeah. yeah i hope yeah they just don't go far too off you know the boat with it because you yeah. know how hardcore avatar fans are and they're just like we want it to be pure of basically i i feel like the, the live they want the uh avatar people just want a live action adaption of the show to that and they don't want nothing they just want they just <laughs> want something better than what we got with Shyamalan. let's just be honest they're, they they yeah, they they're, they're hurt man they just got out of a bad relationship they're still hurt <laughs> okay they're they're mistrustful they're like are you gonna do me dirty like my ex did or can you do me right? No, no. no. <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go in here with open hands, and you better take care of me <laughs> at the show. But yeah, well, uh, that's pretty much it. I think. There, I mean, there's pretty sure there was a couple more things, but I know we're kind of getting there, and we can always talk about those on the next show. And, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. My bad too on it. I thought I was no, no, no. good for the later one. That's but... totally fine. Yeah. No. 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 Uh, no rush or anything either. So. God, yeah, we'll thing. definitely. Uh, but we'll be back we'll next week. We, uh... There's plenty more to talk about, too. We didn't even cover all of our topics today, honestly, which is kind of crazy for us. We usually overcover topics, but I think we <sighs> yeah, probably yeah, barely they're... hit half of them today because we didn't even really talk about, like, G4 and stuff. We didn't really talk about any of that. I know. I wanted to get into that, too. I, uh... I think that one we're going to yeah, have to get um... its own episode where we when it gets yeah, a little more we'll, developed. we could do the next one. But, definitely, uh, definitely. But definitely it was a good one. I think it was a fun We You know, got Hit Monkey in. We got Spider-Man in. Um... I mean, we yeah, actually got a ton of stuff this month, yeah. the next month. I was going to say, too, yeah. uh, hopefully, and I'm going to do the announcement so that I can lock myself into it on stream, but we should have our <laughs> YouTube stuff popping off December. So within about a little more than a week, we're going to start our releasing there. We've already kind of started primarily releasing there for our uh, uploads of like the VODs from our streams. Oh, okay. But uh, we're going to be doing like little TikTok cool. videos and things like that on there of like you just comic facts and other things to get a wider oh, yeah, range definitely. of people. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think, oh, and then hopefully getting some new, like I said, screen bull crap made this next week. Cause I've been working on it for the other channels and they're basically got theirs. So now it's comic combos turn to get their upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, nice. thanks as always for coming through. Thanks everybody for watching. And, uh, we don't have it this week, but we are trying and still looking for people to do the, uh, local artists showcase. So, you know, if you uh, are a local artist or know a local artist who wants to show off their art and maybe get some commissions and get people talking to them for stuff, go ahead and hit us up and we'd be happy to link up your stuff and post it here at the end of the videos. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, 
follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.